Just wrapped up pro timing day at Texas. A lot of NFL hopefuls behind us, running, jumping, doing position drills in front of NFL scouts. And one guy in particular, Brian, big Malcolm Brown, the defensive tackle who left school early to declare for the NFL draft. He didn't do a lot, but what he did do is position drills and how did he look? I thought he looked pretty good. I mean, he looked like the Malcolm Brown that we know, the guy who can get out and move around and move really well. They wanted, probably wanted to see him move laterally, side to side, had him going to the ground, picking up tennis balls off the ground while in a full sprint. You know, hopefully they envision picking up fumbles. A lot, a lot of stuff today uh, is, is a lot of number crunching, you know, heights, weights, uh, broad jumps, high jumps, 40-yard dash time, a lot of the intangibles that scouts are looking for. Does this mean that they are good or bad football players, uh, I'm not sold on that. I, I think the film is always going to speak louder than anything we saw here today. Absolutely. I did find it interesting that said Reed, who had a subpar senior season, uh, did not participate today, has a torn meniscus, which we knew about, underwent surgery, didn't do anything today. Uh, we talked to him about that torn mm -hmm. meniscus, and he said it was really tough. But he's explaining why he's struggling last year and can't tell us why right. he's struggling. Right. The player, these players are not allowed to talk about injuries, uh, at least from the from the university standpoint. But uh, we also found out today that Steve Edmond, another another linebacker, he got hurt versus Oklahoma, also a slight meniscus tear. Played through the rest of the season. Basically played hurt the entire second half of the year. Played in the bowl game and immediately went and had surgery right after that. You know, you think of Sed Reed, you think of Steve Edmond, uh, Jordan Hicks coming off of two torn pectoral muscles. Uh, you know, these guys have played through more pain than we really know about. Hicks also has a workout with the Eagles yes. coming up. You talk with them. Let's talk about, real quick, before we let you go, injuries. We talk about injuries, we talk about them a lot, but it was very, it was hard for me to take seeing the great David Ash out here throwing to receivers. You know, I always kind of wonder, and we will all we will all wonder what could have been, but uh, he can still spin it. And he hasn't thrown since his final practice, which was right. very early in this season. And he got a call a couple days ago, hey, David, will you throw to the receivers? Come throw the receivers. And he did, and, you know, he looked good. <laughs> he did. He's a Texas quarterback. He's, he's got a good arm. So uh, one final thing, I thought John Harris looked really good. He looked great. He, he said he had lost a few pounds. Um, if you remember, he was transitioning from tight end to receiver, had to lose some weight. He had about five more pounds he wanted to lose. Um, he's a specimen. I mean, he can run, jump, he can catch. He, he is uh, uh, a guy that could really get drafted. Nine feet, 10 inches for John Harris on the broad jump, 19 reps on the bench press. Stick with the Statesman through the uh, next coming weeks and uh, we'll have plenty for you there. Football's back. Football is back, thank goodness.